so what's up guys this is technical ham and suri and i know for what thing and for what exact thing you are looking and that is the face recognition attendance system this video is not going to be much long because i'm going to provide you the proper code and how to use that proper code which video tutorials you have to follow to use that specific code and whatever the things you all have to do in order to use the code that i am going to provide you on my google drive link in the description of this video so i'm just going to show you my face recognition attendance system that i have created using python this face recognition attendance system the model that i have taken is from the person who have already created uh, uh, this system on youtube and his name is uh, murtuza hassan ai and robotics so i'm just going to show you the video of that person so uh, basically this person has created uh, the face recognition attendance system but he has not linked that particular code with the excel file and also he has not created the graphical user interface for uh, the face recognition attendance system so uh, this is the proper video now what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to show, uh, show you my code that in which i have linked the graphical user interface part and also i have linked I have linked the code and, I, uh, the, and the, the attendance that it will be marking on the database it will also generate a proper excel record of the person who has who have been marked so these are this is the sample uh, attendance that it has marked which I have I, which I have marked right now by opening the camera so uh, this is uh, the main in the main model of the project that is uh, the main with GUI and excel so this is the proper code don't worry i will be providing the specific link to download this this is the encoding and that it generates and uh, the the important thing is aid to database so in order to add a person to the uh, the face recognition attendance system you just need to provide the specific input in the dictionary format see i have used the role number of the student you can simply write uh, anything of a person if you but this name and the image name should be same and the image should be in the dot png format and also specifically it should be in uh, converted to uh, 216 by 216 pixels you all have to remember this it should not even uh, be increased by one of one pixel or it should not be even reduced by a single pixel it should be of 216 by 216 pixel and that too it should be of dot png format so you all have to remember it now these are the images that i have uploaded on the database that i have created on firebase so how does it take input from firebase this is the url of the database of the firebase that i have created and also the storage bucket i'm just going to show you on my firebase console for the face recognition identity system so this is the real time database that i have created so it takes time because my internet speed is slow it is always already generating our students folder so this is my attendance that it has marked on the database and the last attendance was on 26th december 2023 at 1 6 pm now this is the storage bucket You can just simply create your storage bucket by following a lot of tutorials on the uh, tutorials on YouTube and also the database. So I am not going to uh, tell you all those things because the video is going to be a much lengthy if I do this. So these are the images that I have uploaded on my image database storage bucket. So what what this face recognition attendance system will do is it will take the images input from the database, not from this particular folder. It will be taking from this database that i have created so i'm just going to show my image that i have uploaded and it should be again i'm repeating it should be in the dot png format with 216 by 216 pixels so i'm just going to show you the graphical user interface that i have uh, created using uh, the critic enter module so i'm not going to show the face i have added buttons using tick enter module in the project it takes time because my internet speed is not uh, fast right now so depending on the internet speed also this program works perfectly so this is the gui and when i click on the start recognition button it will just simply uh, 
direct to the code so this is the attendance system and then when i click on close recognition it will close the recognition system so one important thing is you have to create on the database you have to create the storage backend and this service account key you will be provided when you create your database and that is the service account key dot json it is highly confidential so i'm not going to display my service account key it should be present in the folder of the code so when i provide you the particular code on my google drive this will not be present there you just need to create the database and you have to upload your specific images of uh, the of the persons for whom you are going to mark that image so this is the a2 database i have added a lot many friends from my college and myself also you can i have also added a lot of people here so okay this is the test or one no problem this is the encoder it will encode a uh, specific thing it will provide the specific uh, images that i have feed in. it will uh, provide this proper information see these are the images that i have uploaded on the database so when you upload a specific image on the database you simply run the encoding encoding so that you can simply see the record of the information that you have uploaded in the database so this is the these are the people that are available in this recognition system it is provided then put in the dictionary format right now you can simply see here so encoding has started encoding is also complete here and it has been saved so before you run the recognition system first run this a2 database so that your folder of student it will be created here it is already created so i'm not going to show so when you run this a2 database it will be it will not show any output here but it will show output this is the student folder it will generate and all the students will be present whom you have saved in the database not in the database in uh, the uh, yeah and the person it will add all the students name to the database I, i'm going to show you the sample here when i delete this folder i have deleted it see now it is the null value that i have provided now when i run this a2 database it will generate the students folder on the database real time you can see it has generated here and it has added all the students here so this is how it works and this is how it takes the information of the students that have applied it here in this specific code you can just simply add you on the particular student you want to add now when i run this code when i run this code uh, and when the person's attendance is marked on the database it will also reflect in the excel record that i have created here and this excel file will be specifically for the attendance of the particular time and this is how and it will append the attendance like if i run this system again if i stand in front of the camera it will append my attendance to 24 to 25 with the specific time so service account key you have to download it so i will be providing you this proper link of how to download the code and you will also have to install all these libraries many a times it will happen that you will be failing you will be failing to install the face recognition module a lot of modules mostly i think i have faced the information uh, the problem in the dlib and the face recognition module so i have provided the particular version of the dlib you can simply install this particular module and this will be available in the source code that i will be providing so thanks for watching this video this prop this project is completely complete uh, com like it is fully complete you just need to download the source code install all these libraries or the modules and then you have to generate the service account key create first create the database and storage bucket upload the images on the storage bucket this is the storage bucket and in the and you have to upload the image of the person for whom you want to to and it should be in the png format with 216 by 216 pixel you can simply do it by using paint and then 
paste the service account keys in there the service account key will be specific for your database you have to paste it for your project it will be specific so then only you will be able to use this recognition system so thanks for watching this video also subscribe to my channel for more technical videos of this kind i will be also uploading many projects in the upcoming videos so thank you and have a nice day